What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news, as you guys can see, concerning Oscar, the golden boy, De La Hoya, or should I say now, the golden man, okay? Oscar De La Hoya is 49 years old, and he, as you can see, is ripped to shreds. Look at his obliques. Look at his abs. He looks like a brand new man. Now, the question is, is this natural or is these just simply drugs? Okay? Because the reason I question it is not that he couldn't get ripped to shreds. Not saying that. Because lifestyle is a mother sucker. When you decide to change your lifestyle, which if he has more power to Oscar De La Hoya because he's needed it along with millions of other people or perhaps billions of other people on this planet, okay? But it's specially needed for him because he's had a long line of drug and alcohol abuse and he needs something to change his way of things so he can change his sway of things bars i think that oscar looks in great shape he's always been fast if i could be at a bar with anybody and we get in a fist fight i would love oscar de La Hoya to be fighting beside me or just let him kick ass by himself <laughs> okay so i'm not hating on the man I am just simply saying that Oscar De La Hoya did not look like this when he was fighting, okay? He had a soft center. He had a boyish-like physique. It really wasn't anything muscular at all. Not like this. This is totally different. This is more chiseled. You can tell that he is flexing those muscles as he throws those punches, okay? And they are hella tight. Yes, that takes time, okay? Weight loss, training to look like that. He didn't look like that before. And then imagine this, all of the weight cuts, the weight drains, the things that Oscar De La Hoya had to do. Remember the fight, his last fight, where he had to come in at 145 against Manny Pacquiao. He didn't look like that. So this shows you this is a total muscle uh, reconstruction here. So he had to change his workout regimen intensely to look like that. Or he's on some juice. Now, in the defense of Oscar De La Hoya, though, there are people, um, for example, like Derek Chisora, bad example. Let's pick another example. Um, Frank Bruno looks really good, but Frank Bruno always looked good. So another bad example. I'm getting there, guys. It is a fighter that used to fight. Now he looks a lot better than he did when he was fighting and is it not johnny nelson no he's a british fighter for sure i think it was frank bruno right that he wanted to come back into the sport of boxing but nonetheless some fighters right um they are definitely Definitely, they take care of their body a lot better than they did before. And because of that, they want to get back. Maybe it was Nigel Benn, right? Wasn't it Nigel Benn that wanted to get back in the ring and he looked so much better when he was out of the ring because of drugs? I think that was, I think that was Nigel Benn. It could have been. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. De La Hoya may be that exception. But... Regardless of what, he looks great. He looks in fantastic shape. If you took off the white chili under his beard, he would look a lot better than he did in 2008. Bars. 
But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Oscar De La Hoya looking in fantastic shape. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!